People can have all kinds of collections. Stamps, coins, records, maybe even posters. How about a guy who loves sports so much that he's turned his whole upstairs into a shrine for his favorite team? The heart of Razorback country is almost 200 miles away from Fayetteville, depending on who you ask. Retired Sherwood resident Gail Holmes will tell you it's in his town, where his house has absorbed a full-on Razorback Museum. I think the official name I set put on one time was Holmes Hog Museum. And we have a guest registry and, and anybody comes up for a visit, I have them to sign them, and that would include you. <laughs> You'll find balls signed by every football and basketball coach, a whole wall lined with trinkets of every shape and size, and Razorback memorabilia you simply don't come across every day. Really, to digest everything in here, you'd probably have to stay an hour, hour and a half, two hours to, to soak it all up. Fake Razorback nails. Uh, there's the fingernails. Toys. <laughs> there's even handmade items that have been seen on a national scale. We went over to ABC Good Morning America early one morning, started getting text messages from phone folks back home, so we just saw you on TV. It all started when Gail retired and brought the Razorback stuff he'd been collecting at his work desk home with him. It was, had a lot of stuff in it, and I was going, oh no, when he retires, he's going to bring all that home. What are we going to do? So that's the yearbooks. Um, quite, a, quite a deal there. There's in his upstairs space, he began adding to the collection. There's a... Um, 118 yearbooks, and I have all but nine of them. Even a yearbook that has a familiar face. <laughs> Man, I was looking slummy that day. <laughs> a Razorback fan by heart, even when he was scoring touchdowns for another school in the same state. I went to school at uh, Conway and was a uh, SCA bear back in those days, but I'm still a hog fan. Now living out a Razorback fan's wildest dream. I've been to 90 straight football games, consecutive games, home and away. An adventure, making the homes upstairs worth more than a pretty penny. Currently it comes up to an evaluation of that amount right there. So when Gail can no longer take care of his collection. I'm not going to be here forever. It'll all go to his grandson, Blake. You can give my mom anything else, give me this house with everything in it and I'll be okay. That's all I've ever wanted was, I like this. So Sherwood will be home to the Holmes Hog Museum for a whole new generation. Woo pig by God. Andrew Epperson, the, UATV. The and it's got the old hog on there. If Holmes can make it to Lexington, Kentucky when the hogs take on the cats in 2019, he'll be able to say he's been to every SEC football team stadium at least once. <laughs> Talk about a fan who'll go the extra mile for his team.